sorry about that. We have so many problems today. Uh, you wouldn't believe it if I told you. Uh, yeah, you wouldn't believe it if I told you. So why even bother with it? Why try? Hi, wise guy. Everything should be fixed. Hit the like button. We're doing it. We're having it. We're smashing it. We're grabbing it. We're liking it. We're hiking it. We're doing it. We're viewing it. We're seeing it. Jesus Christ. Okay. 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 Look at this dill dog fella. That's a square, Dill Dog. That's a square. Pick a square for Dill Dog. Let's turn this ugly bitch into a man. Huh? Huh? If you don't know, we're gathered here tonight. We, we won't have any internet problems today. It's all squared away. You wouldn't believe it if I fucking told you. You wouldn't believe it if I told you. Anyway, we're doing it. Ah, I'm sorry that I'm high. I've had a couple bongs. I spent the whole day, the whole day long, arguing with Cox about a cable modem. I bet I fucking showed him. Yeah, in a low. Matt Clow. 2.0. What you motherfuckers know? I said my name is Patrick Brown, and I'm here to fucking say I got a cool podcast, and I'm here to sway back and forth until I come twice. Okay, anyway, what? Um, no, I'm sorry about this morning. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. These are not your issues. Uh, it's going to be great. It's going to be, uh, it's all, so much has happened since this morning. You can't be held responsible for that kind of stuff. We're doing great. We're doing great. Look at this. Dill Dog wants 22 for these 20 memberships. We got it all working today. We got it all working today. Anyway, thank you. It was a kind of a fun show. Ozone got me going. And, uh... <laughs> Jesus Christ. It was a good one. It was a good one. Anyway, thank you very much for understanding. And we're here today, and we're, we have some of the best stuff in the world to watch tonight. Wow. Wow. Keel was the executive producer this morning. Of course, it didn't work out very well. Um, painful. Painful to say the least. Ozone trolled the hell out of you. Look, man, it's like teamwork. It's like a synergy. It's like a symbiotic. We both need each other to live. I don't deny that. Slancha. I don't, you know, I don't begrudge you. You're all welcome. You're all God's children. Oh my God. Anyway, everything's working. I had to get a new cable modem. I had to get a whole new cable modem. The problem was my cable modem was fried. So this is what you do. So now new cable modem. New backup cable modem, which actually worked uh, decently. If I would have adjusted the bit rate properly. And, uh, you know, so you live and you learn. What are we going to do? What are we going to do? Fucking nerds. I'm getting high. Dill dog, I'm getting high. You've given me a reason to celebrate. 
Portrayal of Vengeance, April's Rotten, uh, Nippin' Boobs Salute. Rot Pockets! Yeah, it's pretty gross. Pretty gross. Cable modem sponsors needed. No, 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 no. That was easy. That was easy to get. Um, It's just like how much stuff can break in a three-month period? How much stuff? I don't like how far I've had to zoom out for this wall, and I can't get tall enough. I'm stretching. I like to hunch. I like to hunch. Ask people about me. I showed you, Melvins. My true son hacked your system. Oh, no. You are the biggest loser. I raped you. And now wow, you rape? ran dick in hand. I too like to masturbate. Yikes. We're going to watch one of the most insane Steel Toast shows you've ever seen in your life tonight. Clip it. Hit that like button and smash it and grab it. Um, twist your ankle. What's it all about? Okay, live tonight. I planned on covering the April solo show last night. And then, you know, cut to me being a grump today. And again, sorry for the voice. It's going to get worse. I'm not about to stop doing bongs. You live your life how you want. I live my life how I want. Did you hear Barry Ribs is dead? Jesus. I just met the guy in August. Barry Ribs is dead. He's dead. You know, that could have been any one of us. Anybody in the in the Dunkin' Donuts. So fuck. Fuck. Let's celebrate life. Let's pour one out for Barry Ribs. He looked like a little white monster. Um, is that real? I don't know. Uh Brennan said that uh, Teamster Tim said it. I trust Teamster Tim, which feels like a strange fucking sentence to say. But I'm sad. I am sad if that's true. Because, you know, uh, Barry would have been welcomed at Hackamania. We would have had Barry's Corner. We're going to, yeah, I think in Hackamania, we're going to have to do a little pour one out for Barry. We might have to watch a digital set. He just posted on X 35 seconds ago. Oh, all right. No, this is what Brennan said. You know, Brennan's putting out bad information. He's a bad guy. It has nothing to do with me falling for anything I hear on this. Oh, hi, Mark. Okay. Very mean stuff. Ba bang! Come on, I thought we remedied this, Elgato. Hey, Elgato. Listen to my voice. Should we just bang and hope? Huh? How do we fix something like this? How do we fix something like this? Is my mic better? By the way, people were saying it was sensitive. Is it better? I, I'm yelling a lot, but come on, Elgato. Sketty, we, catch up with the rest of us, will you, honey? I know you live in Texas, but it's not an excuse for your whole life to move this fucking slow. Okay? Bless her fucking heart. Bless her fucking heart. Bless his heart. Bless his heart. How do we get my screen? This is the worst goddamn day of my life. You know that? Doing bongs. Will this be up weeks later? Shut up! Shut up. 
What's that? Doesn't what is uh what's the joke? Well, doesn't Western Australia stand for wait a while? <laughs> Aren't you used to it? You fucking this is a Aussie guy. He's in Perth. He's a piece of shit. They're just they're just mean. They're just mean. Back. I had to take a personal day because Aaron didn't tell me I did a good job by myself last night. Sex with Mubi isn't great. I am out on the town right now and looking for someone to dick me down good. Make me feel like a woman for the first time in a long time. Me so horny, horny. Uh, your equipment isn't good and you sound like a fig? <laughs> Gay! Is that true? Is that true? Do I sound like a fig? A fig. Oh, God. This is, this is going to be great. Jason Bentley, $50. I'd like to apologize to everyone who watched the show this morning. Not only did Melton not have his shit together, I heard my wife called in and I wasn't at home to stop it. Is that why she hasn't been calling in? Because you've been, you've been putting the kibosh? I told her the Dabbleverse wasn't ready for her voice. Yeah, she was getting it very harsh in our chat. But that's how we rank, that's how we uh, break new people in. I can assure you the bent leads are lovely, and this is um, even though we're still not, I, I still didn't get a uh, a clear answer on the apples. She paid eight dollars for five apples. I'd pay eight dollars for five of those apples. I would. And again, fearless said f they were bad, but. I think it's a Georgia thing. I think something's going on. I think they don't have them there and somebody's swapping the labels. Some sort of sweet tango scam. We liked the voice. And it, and Skeddy Tooth Johns is not much different. You just slide over a little bit. Bless his heart. Bless his heart. No, ben Mrs. Bentley's is uh, far thicker. It's like gravy. Like biscuits and gravy. Now I'm hungry. I hope you're happy. I hope you're happy. I mean, I, you know, I'm I'm not kidding. I'm bringing sweet tangos to sample. I'll bring a little apple chips up there in a bag. It's a hack of mania. I'll be like Johnny Applefag. I'll be walking around spreading the good word of sweet tangos. A matter of fact, you know, we should be having them sponsor, 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 sponsor. And I do apologize. The stream is a uh, low, low bit rate, but it should be good. At least I forgot to switch it back. The point is, man. If you're hungry, look at that thing behind you. It is rough it is rough and i've seen some of your children so that's me saying quite a bit quite a bit all right we're gonna do this we're gonna dive into it i hope you're ready um ben jason bentley is a fucking guy i believe If that even is your real name. By the way, you know, um, uh, so I think what we're going to do is like a poker tournament on Sunday of Hackamania. A lot of people want to do a poker tournament, so I think we're going to do that. I know Pat wants to do it. Tukey wants to do it. I want to do it. Probably a lot of, like, pretend cowboys like Bentley want to do it. So we'll take your money. We'll take your money. Um, so there's plenty of, uh, um, I say we play in like, a, we can either do a private tournament, we can play in private game, or we can like join a bigger tournament because they have like regular like Sunday afternoon tournaments at a lot of ca uh, casinos and the, pro the pot will be a lot bigger. I think it'll be good. I think it's going to be great. 
and uh, that'll be fun. And then I think uh, Sunday night we're gonna like figure out dinner where as many people who want to go can go. I don't even know. Sounds crackly. No, look, it's that's me, man. Steve, this is getting fucking rude. This is me. It's me. I'm gonna do bongs here in a minute. We're gonna. I'm gonna do bongs. We're gonna get along. It's gonna get worse and cracklier. I'm working on giveaways. We're gonna actually be doing some giveaways. We should we should raffle stuff. Uh, You know what I'm saying? <laughs> um, would you go what who would you guys rather have at Hackamania? And be honest. Andy Dick. Wait, wait. What strain is the bong? I think it's like purple furberry or something. Can we watch this? You're going to lose your mind when you see what he what he does. You're going to lose your mind. Citizen M, I mean get the get the Tom Cruise no shit clip ready. Holy shit. It's everything I said a year ago. Melton was right. Melton was right. Melton was right. Um hello so this is the show now you just moan yeah <laughs> yeah all right i like it is that all right i i like it yeah i like the moans but you gotta give yeah let's hear some more ah! Yeah. Anyway, look, man. Um, oh, no. This is getting... Kevin Brennan is a faggot. Chad Zumok is a faggot. Okay. See, uh, make, make Moody say it. <laughs> make Moody say it. You know, because he'll fix it if it gets... If it's him. Good morning and welcome. It's the Steel Toe Evening Show. <laughs> Good morning and welcome. I'm Aaron. We started an hour early. Why? Because my life is a fucking mess. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> that's, that's why we're starting an hour early. Oh, because I am a walking fucking calamity. That's why. Oh, boy. Hold on. I got, uh... This is my bit. <laughs> this is cl cleaning your glasses in the middle of the show is my bit. That's my bit. Hey, buddy. How's Hackamania Glass. brought to you by Rustic Cut Sound to you? The frog is expecting your call. Hey, buddy. Hey, buddy. Hey, buddy. Hey, buddy. Yeah, should we cut Julian? All you have to do is pay for the whole the venue that we want, Julie. Glasses are a bit fogged up. Yeah, I'll, I mean, I'll, I'll talk about what I can. Oh, no. As to why, um, as to why we're starting an hour well, early and to why there will, will probably we? be a, um, I don't know. What do you, what do you want to talk? Uh, what do we want to call it? A solo show tomorrow morning? Uh, there will probably be a solo show tomorrow morning and then a, uh, uh, show to body language 101 defensive covering his abdomen you know no confidence here soft spoken tonight where matt's going to join us at 6 30 and we'll do he and i will do a show until 8 hopefully 8 30 uh hopefully you guys can uh can help us out and knock out the 2 30 um, we got, we got a lot of uh, shit going on, uh, here at home. It, 
I've always been very good. And we will get your square, uh, Dill Dog. I haven't forgotten you, Dog. We'll get your square. We're just settling into it. We're just settling in. And, you know, other people might want a square, you know? Dare to dream. But on, I was better at it on radio, at letting you guys uh, behind the... Everything is radio, radio, radio with this guy. Everything is was better on radio. Everything was better on radio. This was better on radio. I was better on radio. I, too, will be at that NLO dinner. Yeah, I thought about this. I thought, you know, my favorite uh, steakhouse is uh, Barry's, downtown Prime. I, I think it's the best in the city right now. I sent Mr. Panhandler there to have a steak. I told him what steak to order, the Barry's special. I know you've never heard of a rib cap. I know you've never heard of it. Shut up. Shut up. I usually get the porterhouse. I usually get the ribeye. Shut up. Go there, get the berry special, get the berry steak. <laughs> it's not berry ribs. So anyway, they'll do like a table of 10, 12, you know. So what we should do is like auction off seats to that table. <laughs> Only the fucking richest of the rich shall have the steaks. Only the cream of the crop shall have the steaks. You don't want to look across that table and see Jake Hudson. Only the creme de la creme. Everyone I tell about that steak, I don't know what a, what's a rib cap. Shut up. They take a rib cap. They take a grass-fed, delicious, nine-ounce rib cap. It, they they marinated for 48 hours in shallots and garlic. It's delicious. It'll be the best steak you've ever had in your life. Anyway, I'd rather include everyone, so I don't want to do that. We'll pick a different night for a rich dinner where we plot to take over the dabble verse. Goobble, gobble, goobble, gobble. Anyway, look, uh, you know, so Lemmy is the turn. I don't know what Lemmy is. An enigma. I want Lemmy and, and uh, Quadfather to come, and I want Lemmy to wheel Quadfather in. We'll, we'll turn the spotlight to him, and they'll start, like, break dancing in his wheelchair. I have a lot of thoughts on how it should all go. We'll see you there, Miss New York. Toucan Sam, congrats, it only took one year, and we got him. I'm not sure if that's true. You know, we'll see how it plays out, of course. Nightwave Live, uh, 4,000 is more than you've ever seen in your entire life. So much so that you can't afford a venue that ROTC would be able to jam-pack, brother. They wouldn't. They wouldn't. I mean, um... Keep me talking about steak, and I'll never get to reviewing this Steel Toe episode. That's true. Hey, buddy. Who sent that? Who skipped the queue and sent that? Who skipped the queue? Baloney Factory, we wish you a uh, merry... Uh, thanks for being a part of it. Let's go over here. Hello? Hello? I swear to God. We don't have time for this today. You know, I'm trying to do a pro show over here. Things just backing up left and right. Really enjoying this uh, retro 8-bit onion show. What are you talking about? Oh, because of the blocks? Sorry, is that trigger? Tri trigger fuck! Shut up, Milton! Stop! I have feelings. I am better than you in every way. Shut up about April's turn. Shut up about April's turn. The uh, city point stains. Who sent that? I don't like that. Aaron does weird stuff. The curtain, life-wise, it's a little different with the internet because people are so fucking spurgy and gay, and they just want to extrapolate everything to the nth degree. Um, but we're live early because I have to go join up with April. A little bit later. And it was either 
Try to put something together later. Now, don't forget we had this exact thing um, on a Tuesday a week or two ago, right? I have to get up there and plan. My family needs me. So this show is not going to be a typical, this is a weird time. I'm not going to be, it's getting to be routine, one might say. And then not be able to go up and be where we needed to be. It was going to be too late at night. Or do the show a little early, get it done, give you guys a show, and then hopefully make a little bit of money, keep this little ship we got here afloat. Uh, and then head there, head down to where she is, which is what I'm going to do. Matt's going to come by at 6.30. Matt was going to be here at 7. Head down to where she is. A lot of clues here. I had to start the show an hour early because, like I said, I got to get going. And then tomorrow morning, uh, I will probably be doing the show solo. Okay. Fact of the matter is, uh, what would you, how would I put it? Um, We're dying. We're dying. Things are not going well. <laughs> They're saying, is ah, April okay? Ah, ah, is ah, April okay? Ah, ah, April and I have a lot of things. How would I put it? How do I put it? Ah, ah! <laughs> going on in life right now that we're not going to talk about on the air yet. We will eventually. Um. And <laughs> there are, look, there are times where sometimes you shit gets fucked up, uh, b bad shit happens, and you got to deal with it. You got to roll with it. And so I'm going to be solo tomorrow. Uh, some bad <laughs> shit. Yeah, that song's hilarious. Pot of a wood. <laughs> Clip it. Pot of a wood. Pot of a wood. <laughs> Imagine someone playing that to you, like on a boombox. You would lose your mind. You'd have to hang your head in shame and go home and change families. Happened. Uh, I'm I'm willing to say that the bad shit is on me. Oh, boy. But there's certainly bad shit. Now, those of you with your divorce counter, I wouldn't get your divorce counter out just yet. It's not that kind of fucked up. Basically, what he's going to say here is it's the show. It's not the marriage. It's the show. But what we've said all along is the show first, then the marriage. It all crumbles. The two cannot stand together. The two cannot stand together. I mean, it. it I've told you all day together, morning, noon, and night, no sleep, kids that aren't hers, unfair balance of household responsibilities. Constant ragging on her, joining the chat, piling on. You know? Meanwhile, letting her really just lack in her complete contribution to the company. This bitch is there three shows a week. Three fucking shows a week. She gets a salary. A sal Wait till he tells you about it. <laughs> yeah, it's just... um. <sighs> One of those things. Um, when couples work together. When a man loves a woman. It's very hard. And uh, Andrea says money stuff. I mean, nothing more than, you know, regular money stuff. That <laughs> Regular money stuff? You said you made a killing and the company lost and that's how you wanted it. Everybody had, but Reg money stuff. Somebody get a hold of Rocco. Money stuff. I told Rocco I'm going to try to end around six because Tukey's coming on. I don't know if Al Haribla is listening. You know, I, I how do we how do we team up? No, it's not money stuff. It has nothing to do with money. Uh, I do want to knock out that two thirty tonight. That would really. I do need the money though. It has nothing to do with money, but we do need the money. It has nothing to do with money, but we are when we lose one hundred fifty dollars. That's ha half of our profit. Feel a lot of my fucking stress. But I think when two. So hold on. If you knock out the goal, it alleviates a lot of his stress. But it's not. But the stress isn't about money. 
Huh? Sins and M is already chopping them. Two <laughs> people work together and they run a prediction to, or they run a, I was reading uh, No Pen 15 Fathead. Um, and they work together and they run a business together. You have to, at some point, acknowledge that the personal is more important than the professional. And maybe the professional needs to fuck off for a while. Um, hasn't the professional fucked off for two months? April hasn't done anything in forever. She needs to step back. <laughs> and I, I'm gonna. April's gonna take tomorrow off. Ah! She took last Wednesday off to find out where to buy stamps. She took last Wednesday off to find out where to buy stamps. And then she came back on that night and told us she was back. April's healthy. She's back. She's back. People are saying she got a DUI. Is that true? Somebody check the records. And she'll be back on probably Wednesday night, Thursday. And she'll be back on Wednesday night. We'll do the Thursday show. We'll do the Friday show. Uh, we've been talking about maybe making the Wednesday show a solo show in general. What the fuck is going on? They have two employees of a company. They, they make a salary. And yet they have to hire outside people constantly to come in and host the show because the host can't get out of bed. What's going on? I, I it's um it's called I, I think working together all the time, having this busy life that we have It's like we all told you. It's like everyone told you and you laughed at us. Holy shit. Of now uh just April and I have added some shit to our life that's really that 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 is really really uh, complicated and difficult to navigate. What are they talking about? Her fat parents library restaurant? And uh you know, it's it causes strife, it causes drama, it causes issues. Issues. And sometimes when you're adults, you talk about how to get through those issues. And sometimes you come to the realization that you're like, look, if we don't pump the brakes on this facet of life, we could end up really hurting this facet of life. So right now, doing a show with April is not important. Oh, um, oh, oh, oh. oh no. Oh, no. I'm telling you. She don't like being talked about. She don't like being made fun of. She don't like being tagged. She blocked me. I keep tagging her so that you'll, you know, retweet it. And she gets tagged and she sees it. She's not built for this. She should be spray painting valves. When you graduate college... And end up spray painting valves. I mean, this is worse than Ray. You know, you have a college degree and you go, psh, psh, psh. remember? I mean, it's wild. And his sentiment when he got fired was women suck. Women shouldn't be on radio. He was mad. They're holes. He's going to tell you tonight everything that happened that led up to him falling in love, deciding to get married again, and then bringing April on board the Steel Toe organization. I never got it before. I never knew why. I never saw the full picture. He lays it all out tonight. He lays it all out in a way we've never heard. This vulnerability lately. You know, tomorrow he'll be back to saying this was all a bit and the internet's dumb. They run with everything. Of course, he was just having his, <laughs> his third trimester with Spurg. Or something. You know, I don't know. But 
Wait till you hear this. You know, addressing other things with April is more important than doing a show with her. So for stress reasons, uh, for drama reasons, uh, for... What does she do, you know? She doesn't do anything behind the scenes. There's no website. There's no social media presence. What does she do? What, what is it you would say you do here? What does she do? She collects a salary so that she doesn't have to work because Aaron is a controlling, jealous freak. He didn't want her at that factory working with her ex. So he made her quit. And now he won't let her get a job. And again, he's going to waste her most fertile years, her most, her most supple, beautiful life years, late 20s, early 30s. He's going to suck them dry while she takes care of his children like a nanny. Uh, it's almost like he saw April and thought it said au pair. <laughs> you know, he doesn't know French. He's like, yes, let me take care of my kid. Uh, fucking up and miscommunication reasons. And, and when I say fucking up, I mean me. Um, it's just we, we got to remove that stress and drama of being on the air all the time. Uh, I'm fine. Obviously, I'm fine with being on the air. I've been on the air my entire adult life. But um, I, I, I will say this. Uh, if we're going to get if we're going to get real tonight. And we'll get real on the morning show as well. I talked to April about this. I'm not springing anything on her. Um, I'm just letting her. Know. Uh, oh, boy. Uh. Yeah, it's a, it's a tricky one because I don't want people to think that like, oh my God, it's over the divorce clock. Well, it's not that the divorce clock. Of course, you don't want people to think that. That's why you've brought it up twice. He's brought up the divorce clock twice. It's not that. It's not that. It's not that. Why well, keep saying that? Why do you keep saying it's not the divorce clock? <laughs> it's fucking weird. It's that when you're in a relationship, sometimes you see some red flags and you see some warnings, you know? You don't want to be like the Titanic and go iceberg dead ahead. You'd like to see the iceberg coming and be able to get around it. And I think for us, uh, I think uh, me doing the show solo on Wednesday is a good idea. April thinks me doing the show solo on Wednesday <laughs> is a good idea. April's busy tonight. The evening show was not an option anyway. I had Matt ready to go. So what is she busy doing? What does she do for the company? What does she do? Why does she need Wednesdays off? Why does she need Tuesday nights off? Why does she need Monday nights off? What's going on with April? No, what's going on? What is going the fuck on? For real, I need to know. Daddy needs to know. I'm daddy. Panhandler says, uh, Patrick ain't wrong about berries. Patrick ain't wrong about berries. I'm telling you, man. I'm telling you, if you have a free night to go have yourself a steak. Um, it's not a pro show. Turn the knobs and they will come. Uh, nobody likes onions. Go in, going for the kill on steel toe. Why I oughta. That's my job. Speaking of my job, I think square number 20.
She's got a smile that it seems to me Was raised by a dad who likes sodomy And if you turn on XM Radio You'll hear him Now and then when I see her face It takes me away to that special place And if I stay out too long I'll probably break down and cry Oh, sweet daughter of mine Oh, you became Got a little bit. Okay, sorry. We're just having fun over here. We're just having fun. Come on. Come on. I had to sell my Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles collection, the soft head ones, complete with their <laughs> accessories, plus my Krang and his android body. He said, they were mint. I cried in my eggy salad for oh. hours. That stupid whore of a wife stopped pulling her weight around the toe compound, and I'm going broke. I <laughs> I love it. I love that it's falling apart. Fuck, this is getting good. It's so good. But uh, maybe Wednesdays become solo shows regularly. Seal Toe's like a crazy Joe show. They're constantly retooling. They're always like, you know what we should do? Rumble Fridays. You know what we're going to do? They, remember when they were doing Guest Wednesdays and then they, then they were doing Gino Fridays? Now it's going to be April Fridays, but now they're thinking about starting, you know, maybe it should be solo. And, of course, he's doing his weird fucking copy wrist flips. Fucking psychopath. You know. It's getting wild. Maybe we should do Solo Wednesday. Yeah, maybe, man. Why don't we get a whiteboard? Why don't we get a fucking whiteboard and really spitball? Why don't we go grab some NOS energy drinks and a couple IPAs, get April and the kids down here with the Ricadas, we'll all strip down to our skibbies, and we'll just fucking spitball. You know what we should do on Tuesdays? What? What's going to save the company? You sound like that hot sauce guy. <laughs> what we've decided to do that's really going to make a difference in everything Steel Toe does is Solo Wednesdays. Yeah, this is going to change everything. This is going to change everything. Um, I I don't. Where April and I started as a couple ah! uh, back in 2020 ah! uh, has evolved. Yes. You know, I, she came into a situation where there's three children. Ah. And when there's three children, sometimes there are outside forces, uh, outside issues that create drama, that create tension unnecessarily. And April's had to deal with that. And she's handled it. Remarkably well. Save the drama. April's not a mama. As best she can. I have not handed it, handled it remarkably well. I've handled those outside pressures with anger uh, and, and hostility. Not towards necessarily her, but towards the situation in general, which... April LaRue. Changes the relationship. April LaRue. Uh, then you have the radio thing going away. And then uh, having to start this. And then I made... Having to start this. Having to. The decision, I... <sighs> Listen to this, everybody. This is the moment we've all been waiting for. I'm giddy AF about what's about to go down. Know that. Know that, fam. I watched my wife uh, <laughs> struggle. I'm my wife! I watched my wife uh, struggle. Uh, He's choking up. I'm my wife. I watched him, my wife. I watched him, my boy. I watched him, my wife. I watched my wife uh, struggle. 
Fuck. Fuck. Uh, I watched my wife uh, struggle. He swallowed like he never had that flavor of Red Bull before. I watched my wife uh, struggle. Uh, see, this is why I don't want to do this on the internet. People are going to clip the shit out of this. Ah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But that's our fault, right? Nobody told you over and over and over again from Anthony Cumia to Patrick Melton to Carl. I mean, name a show that works out. How's Tom Segura's marriage? People are saying left and right. He's cheating on her. You know, I don't know if any of that's true. I thought maybe they were different, but I, I do. I think there's something there. I think it's a formula that cannot sustain without building some sort of resentment, jealousy, or suspicion. Sorry, I'm packing a bong here. This is none of your business. This is rough, but um, I watched my wife struggle in the job she was at. I watched her come home hurting. Ah, uh, I watched her come home hating the job. No, I I watched her. Uh, I I watched her complain about it. I you know. Uh, no. no. I watched her it, it, cry because she couldn't get home to, to be with the kids. Oh, no. Oh. She cried because she couldn't get home to be with another woman's children. She cried. They're not your kids, factory bitch. They're not your kids, home wrecking bitch. They're not your kids. And uh, when I started this, she would be on a couple evening shows. And I thought she was doing very well. I thought, hey, it's like now. It's just like now. She's on a couple evening shows. Zoom in on his face, please. He's crying. No. No. Come on. You expect me to buy that shit? There ain't nothing like a steel toe boy Playing like he's steel toe core When he meets a girl from Litchfield And falls in love He brings her on his radio show But then he tries to hold her down You know she's a wild one She needs to be free like a dove April M. holds his Okay, sorry about that. She was very funny. I uh, We worked together very well. It was a good fit. Mm, I bet it was a good fit. And when the radio show went away, I... When the radio show went away. <laughs> I, had, I, I was falling apart. I loved that show. We uh, know! We know! You never stop opining about the day. Um, I adored that show. I had so much fun doing that show. And it was... I know! It was the best show. We were the best. It was the best days of my life. I used to be on the radio show. I used to have a radio show. I loved that show. I used to be a real boy with a real show. We know! We know! We heard! It was going off like a rocket. It, was it wasn't! It wasn't! It took place in a fishing shed in Sauk Rapids, is it? Minnesota. You have to drive an hour to get on a big boy plane. That's where you live. It wasn't taking off like a rocket.
It was growing about as fast as your fucking facial hair. Very, very not at all. Very, very going backwards. Very, very, very sad, poor excuse for a man. What is this second set of upper lips you're drawing onto yourself? (laughs) What a weird trim. What a weird, weird trim. It was crazy. It was crazy. We were getting offers from everywhere. Sock Rapids, everywhere. How well that show was doing and what it could have been. (sighs) But now look at you. Now look at you. Now you wear T-shirts that have rips in the collar. Hello. Hello. It's crazy how big that show could have been. But now I dress like a sad, sad homeless man with a ripped T-shirt. And you can't win them all. Oof. What happened? Um, and man, she held me together. When that- Here it is. Here it is. When he lost the radio job, she held him together. We knew this already. Remember, she said she was getting tired of holding him together. When he lost the Twitch channel, when he lost the radio channel, this has become a pattern for her. She knows he's a loser, and she just keeps signing up to take the hits with this fucking loser. She deserves everything she gets. Best years be damned, huh? How well that show was doing and what it could have been. Um, and man, she held me together. When that thing went away, she physically held me up. You're a weak man. You're a weak, weak, m- muscleless, boneless man. I didn't know they made boneless radio hosts. Tyson Boneless Radio hosts. Do they come with air fryer instructions? What a weak sack of shit. She's a fucking tough bitch. Factory worker. Physically held me together. She physically held me together. When I couldn't be up. She held me up when I couldn't be up. What the fuck? And he's like hugging himself. I can't get over this. I mean, what's going on, Aaron? What happened, baby boy? Did you lose all your joy? Did somebody make you understand how worthless your bitch is? And now you're trying to save your show, but your bitch is super slow. And you just might be a little too big for your britches. I'm singing April is is fine. Okay, sorry. And I wanted to repay that. And I wanted, um, here it is. Here it is. He's saying it. He's saying it. Listen. Physically held me up. She held me up when I lost that job. Rocket. It was crazy how well that show was doing and what it could have been. Um, and man, she held me together. When that thing went away, she physically held me up when I couldn't be up. And I wanted to repay that. He wanted to repay it. He wanted to repay it. Had nothing to do with the fact that her ex-boyfriend worked at the factory. He wanted to repay it. Had nothing to do with the fact that she sucks at radio. She's not good at this. If you want to get people on the radio that are good at this, you have auditions. Again, I'd love 
for somebody local in Vegas to be a co-host of mine. I really would. I'd love a co-host here. Anyone think they're good enough? Get in here. I'll show you that you're not. <laughs> you know? No, 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 no. They'd all rather go to open mics and buy each other drinks and suck each other off in the glory holes of the alley. It's fine. And I wanted, um, I wanted so much to be able to give her a way out of the He grew his company too fast as soon as he started it. And he got the welcome wave of support. The, the good luck on your own off of radio support. He thought that would last forever. He thought that would last forever. That life that she hated so much that was wrecking her neck and her shoulders and her her body is this beautiful woman this beautiful woman being destroyed at the factory and it's a shame cuz she's so smart she's so fucking smart how'd she end up in the coal mines she's got so much to offer she's so pretty she's so pretty College graduate, so fucking smart, ended up huffing paint for a living. And again, I'm sure that did her brain great. I'm sure breathing in spray paint all day long. I'm sure she had a ventilator. I'm sure it was top notch. And I'm sure she put it on correctly. And I'm sure she always wore it. She doesn't seem like the kind of little raucous slut that would just inhale paint to get high. Nah, not ape. Not ape. This girl sucks. She's basic. She's dumb. She's dumb. It's a good thing she's not a mother. Jesus Christ, she should never have any domain over children. She's fucking dumb. She's dumb. I mean, she is fucking dumb. And now he's stuck with her. And she ain't going to age well. Again, her mama looks like Ursula from The Little Murmur. These poor unfortunate souls, they don't know. They don't know. She's going to be gross. April blows up on taquitos. She's like a gremlin. You're not supposed to feed her before 8 a.m. She's making gas station runs, grabbing Twinkies. Who knows what she's scarfing down in the car in between the gas station and the studio. She's coming down the stairs, just just, just fucking housing ho-hos and Twinkies. This fat bitch, her mother is the size of a library Chinese restaurant. You are, you're, going, you're never going to have to worry about a place to live. You can always carve her open and stay warm inside her like one of those hanta. She's going to be fat. It's crazy to see how they grow. Like those little dinosaur pills you put in water, and it turns into a T-Rex sponge. Oh, how'd that happen? I don't know. I don't know, but they do it. But they do it. That's what happens to April M. Holt. That's what happens to April M. Holt now that she's just bringing meals down and eating whole tubs of Betty Crocker icing with a spoon on the show. Enjoy your fat bitch. Enjoy your fat, stupid bitch. Not only is she going to be fat and gross like Melton, she's going to be stupid like Melton. <laughs> oh, that was a fun one. That was a good little rant. I'm getting loosened up. I'm getting warm. It's getting there. And when I looked back on the sand, I saw there was only one set of footprints after I lost my radio job. <laughs> huh? April, yes. why did you abandon me at most challenging time? No moves. That's when I was carrying you, holding you up physically. Imagine the gall of her where the show is dying. This show is financially dying. John's neglected cat has shown us that. Stat that It's dying. So what are we to believe? Imagine her, the gall of her to be like, could I do less? Could I actually have a couple more days off? 
I know I don't do Mondays. Can I get Tuesdays and Wednesdays off? And I'll tell you what, I'll help you mop up Thursday. And then you're getting Gino on Friday, right? Everything over 900 goes to Gino. Clean the guns. Clean the guns. Children first, then yourselves. I mean, fuck, dude. Let Ashley LaRue start over. I bet these kids are fucked up. I bet they're fucked up. Tie them up. Charlotte, Louie, can you come in here for a minute? Your daddy has something to show you. Charlotte, Louie. Come back, kids. I love you. Meanwhile, April's still doing her hair. This fucking family. Drive by. Welcome to True Confessions of a Minnesota Dork. I agree. I feel pretty, oh, so pretty. I feel pretty and witty and bright, and I pity any girl who isn't me tonight. She Remember, she's like, I am hot. I'm hot. I'm fucking hot. It's like, okay. Okay, calm down. Calm down. Some of us live near a coast. We've seen actually hot women. Uh, as a punishment for his crimes, uh, Hades made Sisyphus roll a huge boulder Sisyphus. endlessly up a steep hill in Antartarus. Someone help me push this movie up the hill. Hey, I can see my kids from up here. Someone help me push this movie up the hill. I can see my kids from up here. Back to Captain Sirius over here. Just being physically broken by this job and psychologically broken by the job, hating it every day, not being able to see the kids as much. At least she's not being psychologically broken by her job anymore. Movie's the one who psychologically breaks her now. I am the psychological breaker now. We, we watched it a million times. And we had a lot of advertisers at the time. We had, again, with these advertisers. We had, I mean, there, uh, there was insane amounts of money coming in uh, to the show. Look at these milkers. Look at these milkers. And I, I have very, very, very large breasts. This, th these are milkers. These are m -m 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 milkers. These are milkers. Ooh. Pointy too, you know, wicked witch type of type of nips. And when I was meeting with the accountants and we were talking about where we were at, uh, it was very clear we could definitely afford to beat April's employer's number and bring her aboard. Why do you have to beat her employer's number? Bring her aboard. You're not competing. Do you have anything that needs spray painted? How about this? Hey, April, you make 40K a year at your spray paint job. Eight hours a day at a factory. It hurts. How about we give you a part-time job here at Steel Toe for 20K and you mostly sleep in and eat gas station food? You fucking lazy bitch. No, no, no. We need to beat her employer. They need to beat her employer. Are you hearing this shit? This is fucking wild that he's spelling all these details. He's telling you how he dug his financial grave. He's so dumb. Most businesses fail within their first three years. Welcome to his life. No, you wanted to lose a lot of money. You're delusional. You're delusional. That's not how any of this works. And she's she's been amazing. She's been a godsend. She's also been the subject of a lot of online bullying, a lot of really dirty, shitty, horrible, unfair stuff. She's done a lot of that. So have you. Next point. Bullying. Fuck her and her fat mom. Fuck them. All four labia. It used to be like, 
eight. Are we, are we counting the lips as separate or the menorahs? And to see that stuff happen and to watch her be in pain. Fuck her pain, dog. Get back in the spray painting booth. From it. And as a husband, you can't do anything. You're goddamn right. You're goddamn right. I think he's learning, guys. You can't stop the internet. You know, they always say when you when you go online, you you know, you sign up for it, you sign up for all the abuse, you sign up for all the vitriol. You know, they say for y'all. And uh you know, I, I can take it. It's part of, it comes with the territory. I never complain. You'll never hear me complaining about the internet. It's just part of it. I try to tell her, but April's weak. She can't take it. It is what it is. But um, when it started coming down on her, I was so mad. I was so angry. And I just kept pounding my pillow and beating my pud. And my my approach to her was just walk this off. Just you'll be okay. Just don't don't look at it. Forget about it. You know, soldier on. That's what that's what Aaron does, right? He never lets it get to him. Because I did see her as so ta- I, and I still do see her as so talented and so good at this and <laughs> such a wonderful talent that I didn't want her spirit broken by that. I was thinking like a broadcaster and I wasn't thinking like a husband. She's so talented and so good at this. What? What? She's so talented. She's like Kumia. He plucked her out of a factory and saved her. He's like Bieber. Discovered her on YouTube. See her is so talented because I did see her as so, ta- I, and I still do see her as so talented and so good at this and such a wonderful talent that I didn't. Did we all see the show she did alone? Uh, is this, I guess. All right. We're going to, I don't, I still don't know what I'm doing. I've never learned. It's been four years. I've never, are we on? I got to one day I'm going to get the, is this a, okay. Is this, are we on? What a talent. So Aaron's going to be here, and he's going to be back, and we're going to go to the chat room, and we're going to read some things, and if you're not nice, you're going to be banned. You'll be out of here. She's such a fucking talent. You know, soldier on. Because I did see her as so, and I still do, see her as so talented and so good at this and such a wonderful talent that I didn't want her spirit broken by that she's so good i didn't want her to get broken immediately because she's not good i was thinking like a broadcaster and i wasn't thinking like a husband imagine having to balance this it's almost again like it was a bad idea and everybody told you that from the beginning everyone you've ever met told you this is a bad idea everyone everyone and instead of not being a, a boss, instead of not being a guy running a company with my wife, uh, I, I took that tact, and that cha- I think that changed the relationship. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. It's almost like you shouldn't work with your wife all day. Um, just a lot of outside stressors, a lot of stuff like that. Why do you think I cheat? And I, we've talked about it, we've looked at it, and we've said, we love each other. Oh, no. And we've got some great things in our life right now. And We don't want to throw it away for this steel toe thing. And things that we are both so lucky to have and so happy to have. Oh, oh God. They're so lucky and happy to have so many great things. Everything that guy just says bullshit. I mean, our our lives right now are in a place where it's more incredible. 
where there, it's more incredible than it could have ever been. And his life is more incredible than it could have ever been. Out of the billion multiverses, out of every possible outcome, his life is better than any of those. It's better than it ever could have been. That's why he wants to go back to radio. That's why he's always complaining about his job. That's why he's always having a breakdown. This is the best possible life? Jesus. Jesus Christ. This is the best possible version of you? You're going to like the way you look. Woo. And we kind of realized we're fucking it up. Yeah. Yeah. He's finally realized. God damn. I think he owes me a lot of money. I'm fucking it up. Uh, she's been saying the last week or two, she's fucking it up. I she is. You're all fucking it up. You're all dumb. I don't believe she is. Like, you, you guys are like running just as fast as we can. Playing pretend radio land. I've got a little show. You come with me and we can pretend like we make enough money until we fucking die. Well, you don't. You don't. Do they really think neither one of them is ever going to have to go back to work? You're insane. How miserable do you want it to get? How deep in credit card debt do you want to get? How bad do you want this to get, you know? When beloved chatter's talking shit, no chance that strung out roofer ever makes the family puff, puffy and fluffy Dex baby pancakes anymore. It's gone from eggshells to hypodermic needles. That's a fact. I was so tired of her coming home every night, physically broken from the maintenance team, bending her over in the spray booth Jesus. and wrecking every hole on her beautiful skeleton body. Jesus. How can I complete with that? How can I complete with that? One more time on that one, Chory Quake Man? I was so tired of her coming home every night, physically broken from the maintenance team, bending her over in the spray booth and wrecking every hole on her beautiful skeleton body. How can I complete with that? How could I complete with that? Aha. Uh -huh. Patrick, you fell for my trap. My man boobs distracted you from my estrogen filled facial hair. Someone please bend me over. <laughs> she will be so lonely in her 40s. It's going to be bad. Uh, now April can take everything he has left. The rando report. Is that true? Do you think he made her sign a prenup? Uh, then I met April. April's pretty amazing. Okay. I said I would never get married again, but then I met April. Shane, 1980, so the plan is to completely castrate the AI chat or just neuter it. What? What do you mean? I, I mean, I, I don't want it to be able to say the N-word. Charlotte, the retard m -hole. don't forget, read it, Steel Toe Boring Show Spurtopia. Oh, Reddit. Sorry, 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 Reddit. Uh, silence, do good. Giddy Patrick feet. Steel toe going down. You got him. Nobody likes onion. Super chap sent. He ignored it. I emailed it to you. Oh, boy. Jason Bardo, member nine months. They can't handle the heat uh, being butt of their own joke. It's just like, I mean, it will go no other way. And if he thinks this is, the th this is where it turns around and he saves it, he's dumb. And the gloat he keeps doing where it's like, it's not the marriage. She's going to take a step back from the show. It's like the more and more he has to pay her the same thing he makes. And you know he doesn't because he's that vain. But, like, what is she doing for this money? Just cleaning up egg scrimp. Egg scrimp mint. But in the last day or two, I've taken my turn fucking it up.
Oh, boy. And neither of us want to. So we're, we're in this stress loop where we keep making bad decisions. Get it ready, Citizen M. A doy. <laughs> And we go, Jesus Christ, why is this happening? I, she, she. Why is this happening? Why is this happening? I thought you guys were killing it. I thought this was the best possible outcome. Why is this happening? I've never said that. I've never, ever, 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 ever said, why is this happening? I've never said those words. He yelled yesterday. She goes, why can't I get this right? Holy shit. Flanks and beans. Why can't I get this right? Flanks and beans. Listen to this. And today I'm yelling that to myself. Why can't I get this right? Fuck. And so you have that frustration. I thought it was the best version. And that's the frustration that so many couples... You just said it was the best possible outcome for your whole life. This is your best outcome for your life. A divorce, a second dumb wife who contributes nothing to your company. I mean, what a shit life. What a shit life. Couples take and they, they die over it. They Whoa. Okay. And we go, Jesus Christ, why is this happening? I, she, she yelled yesterday. She goes, why can't I get this right? And today I'm yelling that to myself. Why can't I get this right? And so you have that frustration. It's weird because I'm the best at this. And we're both the smartest people here. I don't know why everything in my life sucks. I, it makes no sense. I rule. I fucking crush at this. Why am I not? Why is this happening to me? <laughs> and that's a frustration that so many couples take, and they they die over it. They they divorce over it. They oh no. They get rid of each other over it. Oh no. So they're not even thinking about it, huh? They're not even. Again, they've talked about this. They've talked about it. I run their lives. I run their house. Remember how he never stopped telling you how he has a real life and they leave the studio and then they get on with their real lives and kick ass and it's all, it, not, it didn't carry over. You're saying it does. You're saying it do carry over. You're saying it do carry over and you're saying it carry over so much. April needs to take a step back. From her already stepped back position. When I met you guys, she was on almost every show. She just got in trouble last week for not doing anything for two months. Now she needs to take a step back. It do carry over. It do carry over. It's breaking your family, bitch. You're no better than Kevin Brennan. We all see it. We all see it. Again, you've chosen to bring it on camera. You've chosen to bring it on camera. Nobody even knows what the fuck's going on with me. You know why? I don't bring it on camera. I don't bring it on camera. It's fine. It's falling apart. Shut up. Who cares? Who knows? Who knows? So It's a show. Don't worry about it. I mean... You guys do nothing but brag about how everybody else needs to touch grass. I touch grass. I touch grass. I'm having a great time. No one else, again, no one else is, I'm giggling every show. Every week you're having a heart-to-heart -heart with your audience that you then have to backpedal the next morning. It's getting weird. <laughs> Fuck. Fuck is it depressing. For you to finally catch up to what we've all been telling you for a year now? A year we've been going, this is a ticking time bomb. You're like, okay, internet, you guys wish. And now you're like, you know, doing a show with your wife, it's probably too much and it doesn't work out. Right! Right! Holy shit! Who saw that coming? Everyone! Everyone but the guy who's never had pussy before.
who's like, I'm coming. I'm coming. You smell like paint. Jesus Christ, what a loser. What a fucking loser. And April and I don't want that. A divorce. That so many couples take and they, they die over it. They, they divorce over it. They, they get rid of each other over it. And April and I don't want that. April and I have wonderful things in our life. That's the best ever possible life. Beep, boop. That we only have because we decided to do them together. <laughs> You're having a rocky time. Hold on. Everything great in their life they have because they decided to do it together? What? Two $900 car payments and a shitty home? Whoa. We have these incredible things because we looked at each other as a couple. And, and, and first of all, you're not talking about your kids because that has nothing to do with April. So what are you talking about? As as partners, and we said we want to go on this, this marriage journey together. Okay. We all saw her Photoshop skills. And our life, especially the last four or five months, has been fucking incredible. That's why you have a breakdown every other week. Right. Amazing. I mean, it, psychologists should, like, study this man. The delusion, the head in the sand. He's sitting here telling you about an L, and he has to build little W's all around it to make it land softer. It, it's fucking insane. Look, it's too much for April, and she has to quit. It's amazing. We love it. It's the best it could be. But these little hiccups keep happening. Like April quitting? Just these little hang-ups. These like April not sending things out for two months? These little, either she says something to me and it pisses me off, or I say something to her and it just sets her off, and it just, shit gets fucked up. And you look back on, and, and so many times. So they're both setting each other off. I mean, again, this is all coming out for the first time. They say things that set each other off. Look at this. Ups keep happening. Just these little hang-ups, these little, either she says something to me and it pisses me off, or I say something to her and it just sets her off, and it just, shit gets fucked up. Shit gets fucked up. And you look back on, and, and so many times after we have these, these fights, we go, that was over nothing. This is like... Every couple ever has had this fight. He's approaching 40. He's like, no, sometimes April and I have a fight where at the end of it, we're like, that was silly. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Yeah, every couple in the world has had. Yeah. Is your first time with that? Second marriage, and he's just observing this. Wow. Wow. This is like when Ty Rivera tells you, like, you know, you should just focus on things you can change and not worry about things you can't change. Wow, Ty, go on, 60-year-old man. I touch bag. I touch bag. I, too, touch bag. I, too, touch bag. That's an old one. That goes back to, like, 2007. Nobody's going to get that. I just love when, when he teaches us a lesson. Guys. Life is easy, man. She says something to me, and it pisses me off, or I say something to her, and it just sets her off, and it just shit gets fucked up. Guy stuff. And you look. Oh, by the way, I got to get off. Tukey's on. Go watch Tukey.
This will be up. I'm going to leave this up. This is a bonus show for today. Go watch Tukey. We'll cover this later. Go watch Tukey, please. I beg of you. I beg of you. Um, He's funnier than me. More talented. Smells better. Back on. And, and so many times after we have these, these fights, we go, that was over nothing. That was over absolutely nothing. There was no reason to do that. And then we go on and everything's good. And everything's wonderful. Yeah, we've all been in a relationship, man. And I love you, and you're amazing. You heard April on the show last night giving me all these compliments. On my way home, I'm sitting there, my heart swelling with pride. Gross. Probably like uh, hash brown, gas station hash brown cholesterol. Swelling with pride. Ladies and gentlemen, a nighttime treat. A nighttime treat that I wouldn't expect. Hello? Mr. Milton. Yep. <laughs> I got a visual on them, Mr. Milton. Yeah. I'm out here in the bushes. They're, they're coming out. They're coming out of the mayor's counselor's office right now, Mr. Milton. <laughs> you got the crosshairs on them, Mr. Milton. <laughs> You got him! You got him! You got him! You got him! Roofing cut! Little slut! You got him! Hold on, hold on, hold on. Say it again. Roofing slut valve. Say it again. Roofing cut! Little fainting slut! <laughs> oh. Zulu cut. You got him, Milton. Bye. You got him. He said, "Valve painting slut, roofing cunt, valve painting slut." April looks like a really cool bird today. <laughs> Holy shit! Valve painting slut. And then today I did something I fucked up. And so now I'm gonna go be with her. Uh, after the show's over here, I'm gonna start the I'm gonna start the show early. We wanted to get away from the house. We wanted to get away from the office. We wanted to get away from all that shit. Go be with family. Go have some fun. Hold on, what? Hold on. Sorry about that. Spotify started playing on my PC. I had to reboot it, and it's a P. It's being a motherfuck. Oh, what the fuck did I just do? Sorry about that. Go fit. Get over. And then today, I my way home, I'm sitting there, my heart swelling with pride. And then today, I did something I fucked up. And so now I'm going to go be with her. Uh, I did something fucked up. So now I'm going to go be with her. Uh, after the show. What's going on? Don't say this on shows. Don't say this stuff on shows. Please help. He has me locked in the basement with a pile of mailers in front of me and a pen duct taped to my hand, saying if I don't start getting these mailed, he'll beat me. Beat me harder than last time. I can't keep doing this. The last four months of our marriage have been amazing. For the last four months, we have been yelling at each other nonstop. Shows over here. I'm gonna start the. I'm gonna start the show early. We wanted to get away from the house. We wanted to get away from the office. We wanted to get away from all that shit. Go be with family. Oh, she's at her fucking fat mom's. What do you get when you guzzle down sweets? Go have some fun. What are they doing? Bouncing on her belly. Go fix things. Uh, and one of those things is going to be, let's maybe have Aaron do uh, a solo show on Wednesday. Let's maybe have Matt come in for an evening show or two. So in the midst of all their financial trouble, they're going to still bring Matt in and pay him to do shows. They can't pay themselves. But they're going to keep bringing Matt in for more shows. Again, and Matt's so good. How could you not? April's a talent. April's such a talent. She's being scaled back. 
Because he, a, he's very good at it. I love doing shows with him. Ah, I told you. He's very good. He's very good at Matt. Matt. And B, at some point, and I, I heard John Taffer say this. John Taffer said, I would never open a business with my spouse ever again. It, uh-oh. It's a relationship killer. Uh-oh. That's what he said. Uh, when he talked about opening a, a bar business or a, 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 what do you call it, a, what does he do? A consultant business with his wife. Said it killed his marriage. Destroyed it. He got divorced. I don't want to get divorced. April doesn't want to get divorced. We're not going to get divorced. I've made a huge mistake. But I also don't want to fight with this beautiful woman. He said we're not getting a divorce about seven times this show. We're not getting a divorce. Guys, we're not getting a divorce. It's not the divorce. We're not doing a divorce. I don't want to be angry with this beautiful woman. I don't want to be upset with this beautiful woman. Because this woman has brought me so much in my life that I never could have had on my own. I mean, this is insane. What has she brought you? The burden of an additional salary? I mean, just opened my world to so many different things that I never could have had on my own. What the fuck is he talking about? They're both very, very basic idiots. Like, what the fuck is he talking about? And I've been, and I'm so proud that I've been able to give her things. What? Anxiety attacks? Crushing guilt? Vaginal warts? That she couldn't have on her own. I'm so proud of that. HPV? But I think we lost, I, I think we spent so much time maintaining those things we gave each other, we forgot to appreciate that we gave them to each other in the first place. We forgot how to love one another, and we need to get back to the good old love. And it is better to acknowledge that. It and also, the internet's a motherfucker, and she doesn't like it. It causes stress. She doesn't like the internet. She's a real talent. She hates this. She's so good at it. Reminds me of... She's a good girl. And it should. She's fucking human. More human than human. She's a fucking person. It should. The fact that it doesn't bother me that much when it's me. It bothers me when it's her. It bothers me when it's my friends. Uh, when people write, you know, uh, when, when people write shit about my friends who are streamers and shit, it bugs the shit out of me. Don't write stuff about my streamer friends. Mom, they're writing stuff about my streamer friends. <laughs> when it's me, I don't care. I, I don't know what that is. When it's Mom, you say stuff about merch again. <laughs> it's my wife. It bugs the shit out of me. When it's me, I don't care. But if if she goes on the show and people are saying nasty, horrible shit, and that gives her bad energy, the show's over. Where do you think that energy's going to go? It's going into your home. No, you guys leave it here. See, this is what I'm saying. All he does is say, no, we leave it here. It doesn't affect our real lives. Now he's admitting it does go into their home. And if it goes into your home, maybe she's in a bad mood, and I take it as towards me, and I say something fucked up, and I screw up. Or maybe she's in a bad mood and I maybe try to say something encouraging, but it sound, it doesn't sound right, and she blows up and she comes after me. I don't want that. She doesn't want that. I'm a better person than that. She's a better person than that. He always checks that chat to see if you're buying his horse shit. You notice that? It makes it immediately seem like he's just manipulating people and he's a liar. Watch him say what the, what he's trying to say with conviction. Watch him deliver these lines with real conviction he wants you to believe. And then immediately his eyes give it away. They dart over to that chat. So if I, if I. Hold on. Thing encouraging, but it, sound, it doesn't sound right. And she blows up and she comes after me. 
I don't want that. She doesn't want that. I'm a better person than that. She's a better person than that. Now, did you buy it? Let's check. Look how fast. She doesn't want that. I'm a better person than that. She's a better person than that. Look how fast he goes to check if you bought that horse shit. She doesn't want that. I'm a better person than that. She's a better person than that. Ooh. To live your life by that chat. So if I if I have to limit the time we spend on the air together so that our time spent alone together is we're breaking up to save our marriage. Limit the time we're on the air together. Listen to this shit. Listen to this shit. And we're supposed to believe that they fuck three times a week, he said. So if I if I have to limit the time we spend on the air together so that our time spent alone together is more enjoyable and loving, I will do that one million times without question. I would never choose this show. So what he just said, if you reverse it, is doing the show together has made our alone time together not enjoyable and stressful. He needs her off the show to make their alone time more palatable. That's what he just said. I mean, these are he's sugarcoating it, but these are insane things to say out loud. Ever in my life. So I'm sorry that your divorce clocks are going to have to keep ticking. He's like, look, I can't stand to be with my wife. So she's quitting the show. We're still going to pay her. So sorry about your divorce clocks, losers. Wrong again. It's like, aren't you admitting there are serious problems in your relationship? You just said that. My divorce clock's right on time. I mean, I mean, I, we're getting calls from Greenwich. <laughs> our, our divorce clock is tick tock accurate. You've you've said it nine times tonight. Sorry about your divorce clock. It's not a divorce. We're not doing a divorce. It's not going to be a divorce. It's not a divorce. Okay. Okay. And I don't want you to hit the like button. Hit the like button. But I also like being honest with this audience. I feel like I'm good at it. I feel like I can convey these messages. We know you feel like you're good at it. You know, Caitlyn Jenner feels like she's a woman. You don't have to feel anything you want to feel like. Do you? I can be very clear with them. I am tired with with this amazing life. <laughs> I'm tired of winning so much I feel like a loser. I'm tired of you guys telling me I'm a loser. I have this amazing life that my wife and I have. Jesus Christ. I mean, this is fucking sad. This is fucking sad. Please go watch Tuki. Please go watch Tuki. Any, uh, go watch Tukey. Anybody with in their right mind should not be here. Go watch Tukey. This will be up later. This will be up later for uh, for Patreon. I am tired of letting little petty bullshit get in the way. Then why let it? Why let it? You choose what to be angry at. I don't, you know, what's everybody upset about? meetings and canceling shows and leaving early and it is Tuki is not live is he waiting on me B Dabbler are you waiting on me I'll get off I'll get off no no he said he was going on tonight he's not on yet in 23 minutes okay that's fair that's fair he gave me an hour he's giving me an hour What a nice man. What a nice man. Cause because he he does once a week and I'm eating into his spot. Like an asshole. Please go give Tukey money and be generous to him. Uh, what a talent. What a talent.
you know, again, let Bill from Jersey handle Chad. Did you hear my my high theory? Is that Bill from Jersey is Chad's real dad? And that this is like retribution for all the child support that he missed. No, no, he was gonna do it at nine. Um he was gonna do it at nine Eastern. Um, originally. He told me yesterday. So he moved it for me. And I appreciate that because I told him earlier I was going to go on today. But uh, he should do tomorrow, too. He can do tomorrow night. I might do the morning. I mean, look, there's going to be nothing but steel toe this week. Again, This I can't help what develops when. This is wild shit. My fault that I have not been taking steps to eliminate Little petty bullshit that's getting in the way. Their names are Charlotte and Louie. Jesus, what a monster. And fucking it up. But the good news is it's never too late. You can always fix it. You can always turn the ship around. You can always do better. (laughs) Do you hear him? You can always fix it. You can always turn the ship around. You can always do better. I sense a new banner coming. And that's what I'd like to do. This is like Kevin Brennan's insane breakdown that he's having now. New graphics and the green screen and stuff. It's like an old man's mid-streaming life crisis. So tonight, April will not be here. Uh, Tomorrow, April April will not be here in the morning. I think April will be here in the afternoon. You think? (laughs) What a good mom. Um, maybe if I, maybe if I had it my way and the audience understood, I would take tomorrow morning off. Don't worry, I've been to the future. He uses this as an excuse to take tomorrow off, and he guilts the audience into giving tomorrow's goal to him tonight. I hate to spoil the future for you. That's already happened. And maybe spend it with people close to me. But I could never do that because you guys wouldn't understand. That's not a bad idea. I don't know what the audience thinks. Let's, uh, I mean, look, the fact is that this, this show we're doing um, has fallen on hard times. Whoa! But you said you were killing it. And you said this is the most amazing life and it's the best version of your life ever. He just said the show has fallen on hard times. Citizen M is going to cream his gay little jorts. Citizen M is going to cream his little jorts. Know what the audience thinks? Let's, uh, I mean, look, the fact is that this this show we're doing um, has fallen on hard times. Oh, no. Smoke weed every day. Two years. I- Listen to what he says, though. He says the last he says the last two years. It's not Melton. It's not recent. Um, has fallen on hard times. For the last two years. I mean, this is not a new thing. I mean, this show's goal has been the same, and I've been trying to keep it the same. But uh, And we've lost so many of our advertisers because when we came from radio, those advertisers went, we're going to hang on with you to get you on your feet. And when they saw us making lots of money, they went, you're on your feet. We're going to pull out now. Okay, that's fine. And one thing I'm never doing is I'm never having April uh, get any kind of job. I'm never having April get any kind of job. This is a woman with no children. She has no excuse to stay home. I'm never letting April get a job. I am so pr- like if I April and I do this together, or I I don't want to do it. She April and I are in this together, or I don't want to do it. He is a part of Steel Toe. Yeah, I got you, Rocco. And, uh, like, 
missing a show financially uh, puts this company in a tight position. Here goes the grift. This is how it starts. But the one thing I know about money is sometimes you have a lot of it and sometimes you barely have any of it. Dep I mean, when you're young, maybe, but the older you get, you're supposed to stock up. Squirrels know it. Squirrels know about this. You're supposed to save up a little money over time as you get older in life. It's called retirement. It's called retirement. It's a common, common phenomena. Eric Stone, I hope you never stop doing this to him. April, talking about bullying Chad. Mm, those Aaron tears. Mm, right, right. We remember. Sketty Tooth John. Bless his heart. Bless his heart. Bless his heart. We need to throw a party for Day Twan Citizen M. This is the happiest I've ever seen them. Yeah, I bet they're really having a good time relishing in this. Uh, thank you, Sketty Tooth John. Silence, do good. $10. Why wouldn't April just get a job she likes? This is what I'm saying. Get down there to Baskin Robbins. We all know it's going to happen anyway, you fucking cunt cow. Let's get those cankles growing. Let's get her down there. You know, again, she, she, I don't know if she has the smarts to be like a secretary, but she could be doing something. She could be doing something. Health, uh, health benefits, retirement, pay the bills, steel toes, gravy. She'd be a great barista at Starbucks. She could maybe get onto a management track. Eventually, you know, in a month or two, she could be making more than movie. Coming home, spreading that Starbucks. So, you know, just bringing home spare lemon loaves and cake pops and blueberry muffins. It wasn't just her last job that she hated. The lazy scrimp doesn't want to work. Right, right. It's like, you know, this is such an insult to everybody else at age 20 something. You think you get a stop working? You just, you're done working now? I'll never let her get a job. Depending on what the situation is in life. That's just everybody. Sometimes you got so much fucking money, you're like, let's go piss it away on something. Has Aaron tried turning the knobs? That's a good point. Might be some change stuck in there. Have you turned the knobs, Aaron? Good morning. I can't believe all of you onions fell for my evening rant. Things are amazing here, and you idiots feel for my plan. I saw Mommy Valve painting slut slitting her wrist. Beloved chatter with a banger as usual. Don't cry because it's over, Aaron. Cry because it's all documented on YouTube forever. Again, like his children will have to watch this. That's rough. That's fucking rough, dude. Oof. And then sometimes times get tough and you go, holy shit, I, we got to lean on a credit card. Uh, we Hold on. Nobody, uh, Sam V, holy shit, is that inaccurate? Uh, is that real? Uh, Matt admitted today that he listens to your show. He admitted it later in this, on in this episode you're watching. We're not going to get to it, but fuck. Tomorrow, maybe. Because I want everybody to go over and watch uh, Schmoopy. What is it? Tukey. Dr. Spergenberg, um, by is your mod blocking me? You know I'm in. What? Who blocked him? Was it the auto mod? Because maybe you were Spergenbergen. I don't know, man. Talk to somebody on Discord about it. Talk to Addicted to Ubiquity. I don't want to handle this shit. I'm too important. You know, we got to cut back on this. We got to maybe eliminate this. We maybe, you know, got to tap into this. That shit happens. And I don't like complaining about it because everybody goes through that shit. And there's a lot, a lot of people who have it a lot worse than I do. No. You just said you have the best possible life. And now you're like, there's people with it worse than me. Which is it? This guy is manic. I have the best possible life. 
Jesus Christ. Uh, here's Mikey in Edinburgh. My buddy says, uh, chance my work schedule may have changed and I could last minute make Hackamania. We'll text you tomorrow. Hit the like button. That'd be amazing. Mikey's an absolute drunk. You haven't lived till you watch a Scottish man drink. Drag MGD with you. Fucking bitch needs to smile. I give her something to smile about. No, not me. That was just my impression of some fucking idiot. This is why women don't want to come to Tankamania alone. You know, MGD, Harry Jane. We got to create some safe space for these women. <laughs> so, life stressors are causing me to be not as good of a person as I should be. And not as good of a person as I am. What the fuck? I thought you were living your best life. Your life's amazing. And uh, I'm not going to speak for April. Maybe on Thursday's show, maybe her and I can talk about it a little bit. I mean, I know you will. I know you will. I mean, we're never going to. We're never, ever, ever going to. Guys, there are only five uh, tickets left for Hackamania uh, for the VIPs. There are only five tickets left for this uh, for the VIPs. Promo code NLO gets you 20% off any ticket, VIP or regular. Um, Grab your ticket now. Grab your ticket now. Come on out and see us. You're going to love it. You're going to love it. Tukey, Pat Dixon, Ray DeVito. It's going to be fun. It's going to be nice. Put your cigarette out in Ray DeVito's chin. See if he cares. He probably won't. He'll probably still say you're a good guy. And uh, Earl Skakel will be here. We may or may not be working on some uh, stuff. I can't say anything. And again, if we add people or stuff, you know, the price is going to just keep on ticking up. At some point, we may do one of those things where it's like, uh, you know, it just keeps getting more expensive every day. Is Chad coming? No, 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 no. Joey C's coming. Brian Johnson's coming. Dr. Steve's coming. Carlos Danger says he's not coming. Moody's coming from all the way from New Zealand. Come touch a real New Zealand boy. But I would say that those stressors make her more prone to uh, Hackamania.com promo code NLO. We're having a promo code war. Promo code war. So use promo code NLO. Mistakes. Like it makes me prone to mistakes. You're going to have fun, man. You're going to meet all the people you chat with all the time. You don't have to, to say who you are in the chat if you come. You know, you can coming incognito it's gonna be a good time man and if we get one of these uh if we do one of these venue changes and to be able to enjoy that woman oh my god off the air as much as i want to and as enjoy that woman off the air as much as i want to like he keeps her in the freezer as much as i do i would Ooh. sacrifice a couple shows a week that's that's an easy no brainer. I would walk five hundred no goals and I. And like I said, there's other things in our life that I, I will talk about one day. I, I will talk about everybody involved with the things that are going on in my life, and I will share them with you. And guys, why? Just don't. I cannot wait to share them with you because they're fucking beautiful. So he wants us to believe he's working on something big. They really are incredible. Okay. The things April and I are doing. And I this reminds me of Chad going like, I think everybody's going to be surprised at what we're doing. We're not. We're not. We're supposed to believe you're on the precipice of something, some amazing a radio job or, you know, I mean, fuck. I want to talk about it. But that's a long conversation before we go public with anything uh, really awesome and cool that we're doing. But it's also stressful. It's it's also stressful. So I got to uh, 
I got to I got to talk to her about it before we can really and decide how we're going to do it. Uh, I'm hold on. I'm just. Res- By the way, before I leave tonight, tonight's executive producer is Leo Gunn. Leo Gunn, tonight's executive producer. Thank you so much for your support in March, Leo. He's probably on. Uh, he's probably Team Brennan now. All the other uh, high rollers, of course, on the wall of string of honor of truth and love and fame. We couldn't have done March without your love. Jesus Christ. It all went towards bottled water for my dog. For my dog. Responding. So that's where we're at. Yeah, Aaron is low-key threatening his ex, for sure. Uh, I will gladly take questions on this. Uh, I also want to talk to the audience if it would be okay if I took tomorrow off. If it would be all right if the morning show maybe didn't air tomorrow or maybe Johnny did it. If Johnny could do the morning show, that would be fucking awesome. Give him half the money you guys give him. That would be great. Yikes. Uh, Ozone says you're giving NLO uh, three years worth of show. That's fine. Ha! If people are obsessed with my show to this level, that's totally fine with me. Oof. Totally fine. Um, so let's knock out tonight. Let's get that taken care of. <laughs> right back to the goal. Um, where was I? Oh, yeah, money. We'll be on until 8. If you guys could knock out the 2.30, I'd be incredibly happy. I'd appreciate it. Um, taking tomorrow off would be tough business-wise, but I think we can manage. He keeps mentioning it. It will be a big hit. We will need money. Um, I I hope you wink, wink, give yeah. extra. Uh, just a, a lot of life shit going on. Uh, D. Gulag with five bucks. Thank you very much. Ozone with 199 said there's other fish in the sea. Chins up. No, there's no other fish in the sea for me. No, just Ashley LaRue. I mean, April M. Oh, my God. He's drinking whiskey. It's fucking over. No other fish in the sea for me. There is April Imholt and only April Imholt. And that's why uh, that's why we're going to make some changes. As it were. All right. <laughs> oh fuck. Like I said, I will answer any questions. I will be an open book. And uh, sounds like it's going well. And also, uh, I'll talk to you guys about what I'd be allowed to do. Uh, Johnny says, I cannot do tomorrow. Blah, 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 blah. Okay. All right. Well, that's cool. Johnny's saying I'm willing to help in any way going forward. Very cool. Thanks, buddy. Appreciate that. Johnny's been a fucking trooper. As well. Turk February says, God, Aaron is humanizing himself. I hate this. T. Gulag says, April's a good broad. You're lucky. I'm I'm very lucky. I got one of the dumb ones. I'm so lucky. I I get a psychologically manipulator and rob her of the best time of her life. I'm a very lucky man. Sing some more country, faggot. The luckiest. <laughs> you have no idea how good my life has been. Well. And I've become spoiled with how good my life has been. You take things for granted. Granite? When your life is really good. And that's what I've been doing. Is this granite? It's a lot easier to be proactive and see red flags coming and address them than it is to try and deal with a fucking disaster in a relationship. It's like, we all saw him a year ago. I've been divorced. I've had lots of breakups. I I have fucked up big time in my life, and I've learned from every one of them. I'm going to give April so much money to spill the beans when this is over. He's already spilled the eggs and scrap. Spill the beans. And one thing I've learned is that it's better to be proactive. than They call that a full Minnesota breakfast. Beans, eggs, and scrimp. Cross your fingers and hope it goes away. Right. April and I have something right now that is so uniquely, remarkably special. 
Ugh. Do you believe that? I, I We cannot lose it. We cannot lose it. What we have is so fucking magical. Hey, you. Get your damn hands off her. And if that means less shows for her and more for me and Johnny or me and Matt or me by myself or me and Gino. More money paid out from the company. Well, then that's what we're going to do. God damn it. Totally fine. Totally, totally cool. All right, we got to go. We got to get out of here. Uh, we've only made it not even a quarter of a way into this program. I know Aaron's not on the whole thing. It's going to be masterful. It's going to be masterful. Um, I'm, 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 uh, you know, the more and more I, on the day to day, deal with the details and stuff coming up about Hackamania, the more excited I'm getting about this. It's going to be really, really fun. Um, a, just meeting new people. I, I hope some of the real psychos come out like Mr. P and fearless. <laughs> just you absolute fucking nuts. I'm going to make, if Fearless comes, she's going to have to make people hit the real like button in real life. And if Mr. P comes out, he's going to have to literally get on all fours the entire weekend. We're not going to, uh, we're, we're going to have little games for everybody. Um, good luck getting that merch now, VIPs. Yeah, good luck now. April's taking more time off. April's taking a little more time off. Nine months and you blocked me. I thought we were close personal friends. You owe me a prima nocta rights and onion con, Mr. Spergenberg. And I'll, I'll check it out. I'll look into it. NLO is the cold, uh, muted growl member for 11 months. NLO is the cold ocean water that took steel toe plummeting to the depths of the seabed. But the iceberg that started this disaster for steel toe was Chad mud shark straight ahead. Maybe that's true. He was more Spurk, uh, the uh, Steel Toe morning show, Spurktopia crowd. Boring show. Adam Jones, member for 12 months, hoping to be there for Hackamania, but I'm poor. We'll always have Seattle. Yeah, it's Adam came to our Seattle meetup in 2015. Um, Yeah, come, man. Come, we're going to have some opportunities for people who uh, uh, want to win a free ticket. You know, if, if look, it's expensive either way because you got to get a flight and a hotel and all this stuff. So, like, I understand, and a free ticket probably isn't the thing holding you back, but I also can't just give tons of free tickets away because we are trying to make uh we are, first of all, we're limited. We're limited. Right now we're in a venue that I think we're going to outgrow. And I want to be able to sell more tickets, so I'm looking to spend more and go to a little nicer venue. But to do that, you know, it's tricky this uh, this close to the event to find a new place. But I think we might be in luck. That's why I kind of got to get off here. Go watch Tukey, everybody. The Rando Report, a true crime story in the making. We're going to get into this. I'm not letting this go. The a April solo show we're going to finish. This one we're going to finish. We're going to finish. We're going to finish. Go watch Tukey. He's a savior of our lives. Hacka, hacka. Whoa. And uh, you're going to love him, okay? So go watch Tukey. Go watch Tukey. Go watch Tukey. Give your salutes to uh, GK on the wall here. And we'll see you real soon, okay? Hit the like button on your way out. Your manner is most unbecoming of a gentleman. Would you be high on cigarettes? I don't know if the comedy hasn't hit them yet. They're full-blown retarded or just high on cigarettes. The question posed to stupid hoes who don't get it yet. Excuse me, miss. Are you high on cigarettes? I don't know if the comedy hasn't hit them yet. They're full-blown retarded or just high on cigarettes. All the laughter that you did for if you listen to the show, boy, Patrick Melton. Melton faces have you stacking and no low point. It's the low point, not the reason. The reason is fucking gold. Gonna make the taco pony party be a party of soul. Gonna make you vandalize a van with a pedal sticker so bold.